Google has just started rolling out a new format for composing new email or replying and forwarding existing email. So the old system used to look like this. If I, if I click on an email and click reply, we got this familiar format. In the new Gmail system, when I click on an existing email and then click reply or forward, we now get this new format for composing your email. Now you can just start typing right in the body just as before. However, your little toolbar up here has changed. On the far left here, you can change reply, forward, or start a new conversation, which would mean a new subject. If you need to add some more people to the message, you no longer see the two until you click up here in the address bar. Then you can see the two and the carbon copy and the blind carbon copy. So you can still click on the word two to invoke your address book, or you can just simply start typing in one of your contacts names and they will appear in the two box carbon copy or blind carbon copy as you choose. So back in the body of the message you can type as normal and if you need to add emphasis or change your font or add anything that used to be in the toolbar that toolbar can be invoked right here under the A. Click on it and you get your different options. If you need to do an attachment you've got it right here. If you need to add a photo you can still do that. You can insert a link they do not have the emoji, the little smiley faces and things like that yet, but they do say that's coming. And as usual, as you're composing your mail with Gmail, it's constantly saving it to your drafts so that you don't lose something or that you can bring it up on a new location or bring it up later and finish it. And then lastly, on the right hand side, you do have some options to switch back to the old compose that will be temporary because they will make this a permanent change eventually. So if, you've, if they've changed it for you, you might as well learn it. And then you have some of your other options here as well. And then lastly, you can send. When you start a new message from scratch, that also looks different. So if I click Compose, instead of getting the full screen here, I now have a small window in the lower right. And as you can see, it's kind of sitting on top of your regular Gmail. That way it lets you go back and research some of your mail from any of your folders while the compose message is still open. And that way you can multitask a little bit easier with your email. And this is one of the biggest reasons that Google wanted to change the compose and reply options so that you could look up mail and search your mail and do that kind of stuff with the compose screen open. And again, just as I talked about earlier, you can start typing and your contacts will come up. Type your subject, type your body of your message, and then you can send it from below. So don't let the new compose and reply options in Gmail get you too excited. It does work pretty well. It is different. Unfortunately with technology things are always changing, but if you have questions, as always, go to helpmerick.com and you can ask them. Thanks for listening.